family, all of the women in my family have some story of sexual abuse, which I didn't really have. I wasn't molested or uh, raped, and a lot of my sisters were. And she, my little sister, was probably the target of a lot of sexual abuse. There is this feeling of like, when I was growing up and even to this day, there is so much trauma in my family that there's not enough space to really to sit down and, and, and really grapple with something fully. You know, there is this, you know, the, like with the sexual abuse, there is a very um, a, a normalizing of it. And I said this to my sister, I said, you know, I thought that what happened to all of you was a ritual that I was excluded from, yet another ritual that I was excluded from. How do you also liberate yourself from um, Shane, I chose the acting class to be like, this is something that I want to address. And through acting exercises, I liberated that part of me, you know, through, um, by being able to say, you know, like, that's, there, there isn't, uh, the, there isn't this judgment on it. And I, I did a, there's this exercise in my acting class called, uh, we did a clown. So you would have to do three beats, in, um, and you would have to pick a part of yourself that you're ashamed of or that you've been judging your whole life. And so you would do it exaggerated, and you would make fun of it. And it would have to be, you would have to create props around it, like exaggerated props. So you would have to um, also, it, would go, it could only last three minutes. Uh, you couldn't use words. And it had to live inside of your body almost, like you had to exaggerate whatever part of your body uh, you felt most ashamed of or, or the action, right? And I thought, okay, I did it one time. <laughs> and then she was like, I think you, there's something still there that you could really get at. And she made me do it like eight times. Like I had to keep reworking it. And it liberated me completely, completely. It, I think that as artists and just as people in general, if we can find spaces and ways to liberate ourselves from all these things that hold us back, uh, we need to take it. I wanted to um, learn how to be in front of the camera and how to be within my own body in front of the camera. And also just so that my family knows that I am also willing to be a vulnerable participant and to be just as open as I'm asking them to be. So with acting, I wanted to do that in a way that was also calculated and aware of the fact that um, I didn't know how to be in front of the camera. Um, and also just to like, I think everyone should take an acting class. It's so important to play around with the way we exist in our bodies and the way that we, um, um, I don't know, just be playful and break out of these ideas, these narratives that we have about ourselves and be able to like, just push your boundaries about who you are and who you think you are, et cetera. So acting has helped me so much with, like I was saying before, with liberating myself of these ideas and this, and this shame and all these things that um, were imposed on me and that I impose on myself because, you know, they, they, they somehow are related to who I think I am. I want to tap into those things and I want to, like Lori Arsadua, she taps into all those things. There is this, all these ways in which we are evolving all the time and finding ways to liberate ourselves from whatever is holding us back from true liberation, right? This deep happiness, Buddhism, and all that shit, right? I'm a member of two filmmaker, uh, two filmmaking collectives. One is called um, Brooklyn Filmmakers Collective and the other one is Diverse Filmmakers Alliance. Um, I'm also a member of a theater troupe, Iombe Theater, with Josefina Baez, and I um, teach through Tribeca Film Institute. I teach film at uh, an all-girls school um, in Queens, and that's been amazing. I, there's such a joy to work with, and I get them to tell their own personal stories and kind of and film them, and then we submit them to the Tribeca Film Festival, and they show them and showcase them. They're like two different, they're so different, right, mm -hmm. in terms of like, even uh, Brooklyn Filmmakers Collective is a pretty well known, like they have a lot of films that have won awards, mm -hmm. uh, like Oscar nom uh, nominated films. Um, they also are predominantly white. 
They're predominantly white, predominantly, um, they, a lot of them come from families of filmmakers, so yeah. they have a history that comes with it, but they also don't have, um, they also come with their, you know, consequences to that in terms of, like, they tell stories outside of them. There's a voyeuristic level of, like, we're going to go find the story and we're going to film it, and I have a different uh, challenge which is I have a story have so many stories to tell and I'm trying to up my craft and I'm trying to up my production value and do these things and so um, my diverse filmmakers alliance is way different they're predominantly women of color and we um, spend a lot of time you know reviewing each other's work and talking about ways in which to address different layers so that's completely different. And I get different, completely different responses to my work um, from each group. So that makes it very interesting. The feedback is always like a lot to um, take in and go home and process. So it's nice to have both of these groups to sort of um, to navigate how I'm going to um, create my work. Because, you know, like the if you go to the predominantly you know, um, to BFC, like, the, some of them will have comments about, like, they're, they don't find, they don't, un, like, they can't, um, maybe not, not, not relate, but a different word, like, they, they're not that interested in, perhaps, like, the conversation with my sisters, they're like, oh, no, you know, you want to up the ante a little bit more and talk about, like, how your breasts are, like, you need to get them out immediately, like, they're, they're into, like, constructing and molding some type of story that is already, like, oh, how can we get an audience to, like, draw in, and versus, like, oh, this is very, very, you know, like, just tell the story that is very, like, simple and, and what it is. You know, like mm -hmm. for women of color, it would be like, this is amazing that you having these conversations in general. So I would, I would almost leave everything in there. And with them, it's like more like shaping it and doing all these things. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting.